the Queen has shared one of her secret beauty tips which Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, Meghan Markle, and Princess Eugenie all follow, and it only costs £7.99. The Queen is known for enforcing strict royal protocol on members of the royal family, which also includes a specific dress code and some rules even extend to the royal's fingertips. Her Majesty has ousted bright-colored nail polish, a strict rule amongst all royal women. Kate, Meghan and Eugenie all followed protocol when it came to their wedding manicures, opting for an understated sheer pink nail polish, the Queen's favorite look. Her Majesty is a fan of a pastel pink nail polish, and even requested one specific brand to be sent to her home. In 1989, the Queen's hairdresser ordered a bottle of Essie's nail polish in the color ballet slippers to be sent to Buckingham Palace. And now, the look has become a firm favorite in the royal household, with Kate, Meghan and Eugenie often seen wearing the soft pink hue. In 2017, a spokesperson for Essie said, We're incredibly proud that the Queen and Kate Middleton have enjoyed our products over the years. At Essie we strive to create beautiful, professional colors that appeal to every woman for every occasion. Ballet slippers is by far one of our most popular shades, and it's great to see it has a loyal following amongst all. Her Majesty has dismissed bright nail colors, labeling them as outlandish and unsuitable for royal ladies. Royals have a strict dress code and makeup look they must follow, at the Queen's request. Royal women are only allowed to wear natural makeup, keeping their look modest and understated. Colorful eyeshadows, bright blush or dark lipsticks are not allowed, which is why Meghan, Kate and Eugenie are never seen sporting adventurous makeup looks. Royals also must wear hats to formal daytime events, and only married women are allowed to wear tiaras. Since Meghan, Eugenie and Kate are all married women, they are allowed wear tiaras, which they all wore for their wedding day. Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry are currently embarking on their 16-day royal tour in Australia, with plans to travel to Fiji, Donga, and New Zealand. The royal couple are expecting a baby next spring, announcing the happy news just hours after they landed in Australia. Kensington Palace said in a statement, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Princess Eugenie's wedding is just days away, and from the A-list guests to the decadent chocolate and red velvet wedding cake, we know the affair is going to be lavish. However, Queen Elizabeth II's wedding gift to her granddaughter and soon-to-be husband probably won't be nearly as lavish as the one she gave Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to royal experts, it's rather unlikely that Queen Elizabeth will give the bride and groom their own royal property, a long-standing tradition for members of the royal family. In the past, the Queen has gifted luxury properties as wedding gifts, Prince Andrew was given Sunning Hill Park, Prince Charles was given Burke Hall and Prince William and Kate Middleton were gifted Anmer Hall. As you may remember, the Queen gave Prince Harry and Meghan Markle York Cottage, which despite the name, is more of a mansion than a cottage. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank will be receiving a similarly grand gift. The past two major royal weddings we saw were for Princes William and Harry, one who will be the future king and his brother. They are, and will be full-time working royals for the rest of their lives. One of the perks of this is Her Majesty can justify the lavish properties she has gifted them in return for their duty to the crown, Royal Central Deputy Editor Jamie Salmon told Marie Claire. Unfortunately for Princess Eugenie who marries Jack Brooksbank this Friday, she is not working royal despite the tries from her father Prince Andrew to promote both his daughters to the role. Thus, Eugenie and Brooke Spank will probably not be writing a thank you card for an acre's arching royal property to Grandma. There are, however, smaller properties that could fit nicely for the newlyweds. Salmon points out. Royal commentator Eloise Parker agrees, also telling Marie Claire, it's unlikely to be as extravagant as the property, 
she gave to Prince Harry as a wedding gift, because those gifts are usually only given to full-time senior working royals. Eugenie has a successful career in the art world, outside of the royal family and doesn't fall into this category, Parker explained. While it may not be a Buckingham Palace apartment or a mansion-sized cottage, we have no doubt that the Queen will deliver when it comes to her granddaughter's wedding gift. We're looking forward to seeing what the princess's present just might be. The first official pictures of Princess Eugenie's wedding have revealed the bride's stunning evening gown, a regal peach-colored dress designed by Zach Posen who said he was inspired by the beauty of Windsor Castle and the surrounding countryside. The images also show the bride kissing her new husband Jack Brooks Bank, posing with the Queen and the royal family and smiling with her page boys and bridesmaids. In the family photos, taken in the white drawing room at Windsor, Eugenie's mother Sarah Ferguson is pictured next to Prince Philip, who is said to have ostracized her from the royal family during the 1990s. An image of the bridal party shows Theodora, daughter of Robbie Williams and wife Ada Field, standing right next to Mr. Brooksbank, who rests his hand on her shoulder. Future King Prince George is looking at the camera with a beaming smile next to sister Princess Charlotte, who is dangling her legs with her feet crossed. Friday's wedding was believed to be the first time Philip and Fergie had been pictured together in 26 years after she was cast out from the royal family following her divorce from Prince Andrew in the 1990s. While he once viewed her fondly, the now 97-year-old declared her persona non grata in 1992 after she was pictured topless having her toes sucked by American lover Johnny Bryan. The Duke of Edinburgh is also said to have prevented other royals from bailing her out during periods of financial difficulties and cannot fathom her continuing closeness to ex-husband Prince Andrew. On Friday, a grinning Fergie gave a big sigh of relief as she took her seat in the chapel for the wedding ceremony, and spent a great deal of time waving at guests in the pews opposite. But she remained composed and kept her head slightly lowered when her former father-in-law Philip passed her to take his seat in the row behind. One intimate black and white image shows the couple having a kiss inside the Scottish state coach as they return to Windsor Castle after the carriage procession. In another image, taken at the York family home, Eugenie wears her beautiful evening gown while looking lovingly at her new husband, who is smiling at the camera and holding her hand. The White Rose of York, a nod to her upbringing as Princess Eugenie of York, is subtly embroidered on both the shoulder and back which hold together the cape. Eugenie set off her evening look with diamond and emerald drop earrings which were a wedding gift from the groom, and a hair slide belonging to the queen. Buckingham Palace said designer Posen, a fan of the golden days of Hollywood, was inspired by the beauty of Windsor and the surrounding countryside, adding that the color of the dress reflected the blush of an English rouse. The silk for the gown came from Biddle Sawyer silk the palace said. The newlyweds are said to be delighted to share the four photographs, which were taken by British fashion and portrait photographer Alex Bramall. Earlier Robbie Williams and his wife Ada dressed up for the second night of festivities to celebrate Princess Eugenie's wedding after a Friday night bash laid on by Andrew and Fergie. The singer, who led the festivities at a fairground-themed bash with an impromptu performance of Angels wore an embroidered jacket for day two while his wife, who shared the picture on Instagram, wore a dark green jumpsuit. Comedian Jack Whitehall also posted footage of guests slitting their hair down in the marquee as royal wedding guests flouted a social media ban from the party at the Royal Lodge Windsor. Irene Forte shared a picture of a fairground ride on Instagram with fellow guests Marissa Montgomery and Saloni Lodha as Saturday night's second round of festivities got underway. Kate Moss and her daughter Lila, Demi Moore and Liv Tyler were among the other stars who changed into fresh outfits as the festivities continued. Made in Chelsea's Ollie Prowlick, who attended with his fiancée Emma Louise Connolly, wore a scarf embroidered with pictures of Princess Eugenie and her new husband. Guests downed Casamigos margaritas and tucked into snacks from a gourmet pizza truck at the end of last night's party which lasted until the early hours with Zoe de Givenchy, mother of page boy Louis, declaring the night was still young in a snap from the after-party at 1 a.m.
Pixie Geldof was among the glamorous guests to share a selfie in her evening party outfit on Friday night, after changing into a figure-hugging tiger print dress for the festivities, while Eugenie's close friend Lady Melissa Percy posted an Instagram snap showing her larking about in the marquee. At the wedding breakfast Prince Andrew delivered an anecdote about Eugenie's new husband Jack mistakenly obeying orders intended for the family Highland Terrier of the same name. The Duke of York told a wonderful joke in his speech. A guest said. He recalled that his dog Jack was sitting on a chair and he shouted, Jack, get off. The dog didn't move, he said, but Jack Brooks spank shot up and fled. Andrew also dispensed with royal protocol and gave Jack a big hug in front of guests including the Queen, in what onlookers call the human moment. The Queen and the Duke of York have paid for Eugenie and Jack's three wedding parties from their own funds, the palace has said. <laughs>